Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here. The study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 79. Please turn to it. Page number 79 and today is our lesson number 26. Let's see what we have here. On page 79, what we see are a couple of practice problems. Number one, it says lilies and baby's bread together, tied together that is, with a ribbon, will be used to make corsages and potronier for a bridal party, it goes on to say. And lilies, we are told, is $2.35. $2.35. And 35 cents for the lilies per item. It doesn't matter which what, what, what we are making here. And the baby's bread we are told is 95 cents. 95 plus 5. 95 plus 5 is one dollar, so it's three dollars and thirty cents. Three dollars and thirty cents per item. And how many items do we have altogether? We have 30 items. They go on to tell you that we have. Where does it tell you how many items we have? There you go. There will be 15 corsages and 15 botonniers. So there are 30 items. So the total cost is going to be total cost. We're not. We're going to leave the. We're going to leave the ribbons right now in advance. We're not going to worry about it. Let's say why. We're not dealing with the ribbons right now because ribbon is a little bit more complicated. We're just dealing with the with the main points here, the main items, the, the costly items. The total cost of lilies and baby's brace per item is 330. We have a total of 30 items, so it's 30 times 330. We know we know that 33 times 3 is 90, oh sorry, 99. 33 times 3 is 99, so we get here 99. Here is our decimal point, and we have to, and of course we have two zeros there. $99. I'm making it too much fuss about nothing here. It's $99 altogether. Which makes perfect sense because because 30 times 3 is 90 and then 30 times 0.3 would be another 9 so it's $99 altogether. Now let's take care of the ribbon. Before we take care of the ribbons, we, a little while ago we said that let's, let's keep the let's keep the ribbon in the bands. What does the bands mean? I know we learned it long time ago. What does it mean to keep something in abeyance? A, B, E, Y, A, N, C, E. I'm looking at my vocab list here in the, in the index here and uh, just give me a second here. I'm looking under A obviously and if you just give me one more second. Oh, day number nine. Day nine. Just type in vocabulary word and then just type in vocabulary words, day nine, along with my name it will pop right up. So let's talk about, let's, 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 let's deal with the ribbon. What do we know about the ribbon? The ribbon we know that we need, we need, we are told 9 inches per item. 9 inches per item because they go on to tell us it doesn't matter what we are arranging here whether it is the uh, corsage or the botonier, it's 9 inches either way. So 9 inches per item and 9 inches we know, 9 inches we know is three quarter of a foot. Three quarter of a foot because they go on to tell us the price of the ribbon in feet, not in inches. What is what is the cost? Cost we are told is 15 cents per foot. Okay, let's see what happens then. Let's see what happens. So we're trying to figure out what we're trying to figure out right now is the cost of the ribbon per item. So it's 15 cents, 15 cents per item. And we know that each item takes, we know that each item takes three quarter of the feet, three quarter of the feet per item. Oh, this this part is wrong. It's fifteen cents, not per item, but rather the cost of the ribbon is fifteen cents per foot. My mistake. The cost is fifteen cents per foot. How did I catch myself? How did I catch myself? I caught myself just now 
is because I look at here, the item appears at the bottom here, item appears at the bottom here, we can't cancel it out, we, can, we cannot cancel out anything. What we have here is a big mess, because on the top, the units that we have is cent times feet, and the bottom we have is item squared, which doesn't even make any, which doesn't even make any sense. You can't have any, there is no such thing as item squared. You can have inch squared, you can have meter squared, but there is no freaking thing as item squared. This is 15 cents, 15 cents per foot. 15 cents per foot and now we're getting some place this foot will cancel out with that foot and what we end up is cents per item and how many cents per item let's find out shall we we have 15 times 3 which is 45 and on the bottom we have 4 so we have 4 45 over 4 cents per item 45 over 4 is approximately same as 44 over 4 which is which is 11 cents per item. 11 cents per item is the cost of the ribbon. And how many items do we have? We have 30 items. What can we do it? Let's continue here. So 11 cents per item, you can do it here. 11 cents per item times 30. Oh, that's just uh, zero and then. So the cost is 330 cents. For 300, let me do it in a little bit better way. 11 cents per item and we have 30 items and we end up with 330 cents total again because the item from the bottom is going to knock out this item here so we have 330 cents is the total cost of the ribbon and of course 330 cents is approximately three dollars is approximately three dollars and here we had 99 dollars so total cost it's going to be 99 plus a 3 or 102 dollars, not 120 dollars, 102 dollars total cost for the 15 corsages and 15 cotonniers that we are making. 102 dollars, that's it. Listen, I was about to do, I was about to do the next problem that you see on the page which is a very simple, very straightforward question but it's, that question is dealing with geometry. Let's keep it separate, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.